During the 1800s, community gathering palaces had become fashionable in cities. Minneapolis had an ice palace, Sioux City a corn palace, and so Salt Lake City decided it required a salt palace. Local businessmen and members of the community rallied to begin construction in 1899. They chose famed Salt Lake architect Richard Kletting to design the building and located it on 900 South between Main Street and State Street. The building featured salt in every stage of its construction. The wooden frame was sprayed with powdered salt, the interior walls were made of wood saturated in brine that deposited salt crystals over the entire surface, and rock salt slabs were cut into pillars and arches. Add to that thousands of lights over the entire building and Salt Lake had a gathering place it could truly be proud of. It quickly became a popular spot for dances and gatherings. At one point it played host to a steam-powered carousel and the first wooden bicycle racing track in Salt Lake City. The popularity would not be long-lived, however. At 3.30 a.m. on the morning of August 29, 1910, almost exactly 11 years after the Salt Palace opened, a fire broke out, completely destroying the building. The site became known as Majestic Park, and the bicycle races and community gatherings continued. A pavilion was constructed on the site of the old Salt Palace, and it housed a skating rink, auditorium, and dance floor. In 1914, a fire engulfed the bicycle track, and then a snowstorm collapsed the pavilion in 1916, and this ended effectively the era of the old Salt Palace and Majestic Park.